But what I want to do is uh, look at uh, doing some cleanup here. And although as nice as many of the automatic settings are here for reconstructing, axiom label, fixing occlusion, a lot of times you, if you want to get the motion capture exactly how it was recorded, you have to go through and clean up the data yourself. So might as well go through and let's go ahead and reconstruct this 2D data to 3D data, no problem. So we have our markers. And I'm going to go ahead and label this. So Axiom Label uses the real-time engine. There we go. I'm going to do that. Let it label it. Uh, but what I'm not going to do is let Blade uh, do the fix occlusion because we are missing markers and we're losing labeling, but we can do a lot of that by hand. So I want to show you how to clean up motion capture by hand. And this is a really good take to do this with. So we'll just let the, the labeling run. There we go. So we got, you know, uh, everything in the T-pose here. It looks pretty good. So you can see, even with that, we still have some labeling going out. And the big problem is, especially as our uh, talent goes forward. So you see, before I go ahead, you see I've got this set up. I've got the character that I've got a good calibration on. Uh, this is the labeling skeleton. I can see everything. I've also got my solving skeleton. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn everything off temporarily and bring in my labeling bones. Let's just do all none, and let's turn off solving bone. There we go. So at least I can see what I need to see here. So we can see what I want to do is just, again, just fix unlabeled markers. So there we go. So that's that. If we come in here and we just look through here, you can just scrub through your timeline, and you can see where there's problems with unlabeled We have a lot of unlabeled things going on, a lot, lot of unlabeled markers. So this is my labeling setup, so if I open this up a bit. Um, depending on what I'm doing, I only want to be going in one direction. Uh, just try to keep things a bit simple here. Um, and I'm going to try to do some of this labeling by hand. So I want to fix the labeling first before I do any gap filling. So there we go. So for some reason, I'm losing my labeling here just on this uh, left middle weights marker. So I'll just come in here. Get to the first frame where it is. Just select it, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and select ranges. So it's only going to label what I have selected in the graph editor here, okay? And what I'm just going to do is uh, give that a label. I'll just go forward with it a bit. So let's just follow this marker. And what I do, I know I've got this here. I'm going to close this so I have a little bit more screen room here. And I'm going to make this just a bit smaller. There we go. Just so I can see what I'm doing here a little bit. So I just scrub through the timeline, just waiting to see if it comes unlabeled again. And it will. And this is why it's important to know the names of your markers, okay? See that uh, left middle waist? It's one of our middle waist markers pops up again. And this, you know, doing this by hand a lot of times prevents problems down the line. There we go. So let's just go forward. Most of the problems we see here are just caused by labeling errors, really. So when you see things like this, so there we go. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of these. And let's just see what else is becoming unlabeled. Just look through the data.
So we can see that left front waist becomes unlabeled. So we come in here, I'll just fix that. So first fix labeling problems, there we go. back in unlabeled. So I'm just looking through my data looking for these problems here. And especially when you get these markers uh, mixing up together down here where they're close together, you're going to get unlabeling problems there, labeled So here we go. So I'm just going to play this, found a spot. So it just becomes unlabeled. So let's come back into labeling here. And that is the left front waist marker. Okay, so let me just select in here. There we go. And as you can see, we have another unlabel here. So we know that's the right front waist marker. I'll just go forward a bit. And labeling this will help you. So let's again, we'll select this in here, right front waist marker. So there we go, so that's labeled. So again, I'm not worried about gaps yet, but I'm just trying to fix unlabeled markers. So that looks like it might be the left front shoulder coming unlabeled. So let's just relabel that, there we go. Right to the right front shoulder. And there we go, just select this. There we go. Just double check it comes back in. So I'm just looking for unlabeled markers right now. There it goes. So that we think is the left. So that is should be the left inner wrist. That one should be the left inner hand. So let me just come to where it's unlabeled. Again, I'm not worried about gaps yet, but okay, so that should be the left inner hand. Again, because I have ranges selected here, it's only going to fill the. It's only going to label it where I've got it selected. So I'm just going to go forward a bit. I'm just looking for a few unlabeled markers, and what happens is, as I go through with this, again, I'm not too worried about gaps just yet. As I label this, it prevents some of the swapping. So there you go. Swapping later on. See that? Uh, Right heels coming unlabeled, but that's easy to fix. There we go. Let's just relabel that. So that should be the right heel. That's easy to fix. Now again, these missing markers, it's either gaps or unlabeled. I'm just going through a bit. And as you can see, here we go. So we have some other markers to clear up here. And probably after a number of unlabeled markers is when you'll see some swaps start to happen. So there it goes.
that's that one there, so that is the left outer hand. Again, there we go. There we go. Oh. So again, I want to fix that. Comes back in and labeled. Select the range, left outer hand. Again, I'm just doing relabeling here. Here we go. Let's fix that again. And you can see that right front waist is coming unlabeled, so let's just fix that. Just it's losing the track because of the markers being close together, so come in here. There we go. That should be the right front waist. And again, I'm not worried about the gaps just yet, but fixing these labels fix a, a plethora of problems. So let's just come through the data real quick. Here we go. So I've done just some labeling, okay, fixed on labeling. What I want to do is just take a quick look at just my labeling skeleton here. There we go. And just see where there's any noise or anything going on. If I can take a look at it, just have a quick run through it. And I'm just going to change my play rate to uh, one half. And let's just see what that looks like. There we go. Just looking for noise. For problems with the hands, the shoulders, the oh, it's a little problem in the air. There we go. So we'll see if we can fix that. So you can see there are some problems. You just have to really look at your.